guys, this is Alexandra Ferrante with Keller Williams here with another episode of DIY AF. I'm a local realtor here in the area and I just love doing stuff around my house to make it a little more trendy, add that curb appeal, uh, super easy projects and I'm here to share them with you. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a super modern, funky, fresh house number to my yard. Um, here's what you need, Let's come on down here. So I went to Home Depot and I got this set here. They're super simple. Um, you can either have the choice of making them flush or making them mounted. We're gonna do mounted today. So you will need a drill gun with a quarter inch bit and an eighth inch bit, a pair of scissors, some sort of tape, either painters or masking, and a hammer. All right, let's get started. All right, so when you open these up, they're gonna come with the number and the mounting kit. And I love these because they come with really detailed directions and a template to mount it. So we're gonna cut out the template for each of these numbers, just along the lines where it says to cut. All right, so we have all the numbers cut out. Next, you're gonna take the tape and you're gonna place them exactly where you want them screwed in. So I'll start with the first one. And take your time with this because you want it straight and even. You don't want it to be lopsided or anything. All right, so I have them taped exactly where I want. Uh, I took my time with it. They're all nice and lined up. Next, we're gonna take the drill with the eighth inch bit, okay? And these templates have the exact hole where you should be drilling that pilot hole. The pilot hole's drilled. Next, I put on the uh, quarter inch bit and... All right, next we're gonna take the mounting bits and you're gonna screw them onto the back of all the numbers. Just like so, so they're all ready to be mounted. All right, so we have the bits screwed on the back of all the numbers. Uh, you're just going to insert them in the holes where they should. And the next step is to hammer them in. I really don't want to scratch them up, so I grabbed a towel. And you're gonna give it a nice, firm little tap. I mean, not like a Thor tap, but you wanna make sure it gets in there nice and firm. And you're just gonna tap where the bits are. Just till you feel it's nice and secure. See, that's nice and in there, pretty tight. And do that for the rest of them. It looks like it came out great, I love it. Again, I'm Alexandra Ferrante, guys, with Keller Williams. This was another episode of DIY AF. Check in regularly, I do share lots of little easy home crafts that you could do around the house. If you know anyone who's looking to buy or sell, send them my way.